Hey everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 1 with another Sky Factory Let's Play video. This is the series where I'm doing a playthrough of the Sky Factory 1 uh, mod pack. It is a great pack. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It uh, definitely harkens back to the day of some of the old school uh, Skyblock uh, types of maps. So this is a absolute ton of fun. Last episode, we managed to make ourselves some crystallized amber. It actually took us the whole episode. We had to make a little bit of a uh, bee hut up there. You can kind of see my bee busy bees working hard up there. I should actually automate that. Um, the uh, the beehive up there that's that could be a little bit of a problem but uh, we'll worry about that one sometime in the future right now what we're going to do is we're going to work on uh, basically setting up some wireless power and some wireless items because I, I am tired of these pipes and it is a lot easier than I thought it was or at least what it was going to be a couple of episodes ago so let's start with that so first off let's do the power ooh nether brick it's not actually that tough because we can make nether rack with just redstone and lava and then the item transfer node is diamonds we got diamonds for days we've got quartz okay the redstone again is gonna be our big uh bottleneck here how are you guys okay you're almost there 13 redstone let's put that bone meal back while i'm thinking about it we're gonna need some smooth stone for the comparators i've got that oh and it's been mentioned more than once. Everybody's saying I need to make myself a force furnace. Now, does it matter what color? I think you just dye it whatever color you want. So three force ingots, a furnace, and two iron. And then you can just dye it a different color. Force engine. What would you use a force engine for? I'm not too worried about that. So three force ingots and... Okay, I've got two... All right, lots of force gems. We'll throw those ones up there for the moment. So if I do two, I'm going to get three. That's what I've been using. I've been using the gold for this. Do I have gold up here? I do. So we'll do the one gold. Oh, I got iron in here as well. Let's break you. I got to come up with a better way. It, again, it's been told. I've been told multiple times I got to set up a smell tree. I keep thinking about it and I just never get around to doing it. It never feels critical enough to get it done. Oh, and it's raining. I'll right, we'll put that there. That's a little bit easier for me to get at. All right, so gold dust. We needed the two iron. We needed a furnace. Let's we'll just make a new furnace. It's not like I don't have the cobblestone for it. That's another thing. We got to go to the uh, nether and explore that as well. We poked our nose in there just to take a peek around. We're uh, portals right on top of a fortress. And I have been told that that is not standard. So uh, I am quite happy about that. All right. So two gold, force gem, force ingots in the triangle, furnace, two iron, force furnace, snag you. Now, oh, do we use force gems in a force furnace? Gr oh, wait, grinding? How do you grind? Grinding core, force infuser, tier two, force infuser, enchanting table, force rod, grinding core. Wood the planks. Oh, wow. You get six instead of four. Anything useful? Gravel just to flint. That's not going to help us. Okay. It d doesn't seem raw bacon. We might have to do that for something. A heavy weighted pressure plate to a gold ingot? That's a. <laughs> that's an iron into gold there. I think that's a mistake. I think that somebody made a mistake there. That's a, a lightweighted pressure plate into two iron ingots. Yeah, somebody's mixed up those recipes there. Now, to be fair, there is an update for this. I didn't download it today. I probably should have. Bone in the bone meal. Force furnace back into that. So it, it looks like almost a one for one thing, but it's not what we're worried about. Now, does it actually take 
force gems. Let's go, let's go sleep away this rain, because I hate recording in the rain. And... Oh, wait, no, they're over here. 41. Let's just grab... Let's grab 20. Can we... Oh. Well, what... To be like, that looks like it's going to fit. Do we have to do one at a time, maybe? Do we have to put the fuel in first? Okay, let's grab a stack of cobble. And we'll take the fuel out, put the stack up. Do we Can we do... What do we use these guys for? That's about it, huh? Force furnace, smelting, grinding, grinding core, force rod, force bow, freezing core. Well, some nice stuff in here. Experience tomb. Oh, speed. Oh, okay, so you can kind of enchant this way. Interesting. Force pack. Okay, I'm going to have to look a little bit deeper in there, but I don't know what this triangle thing is. Okay, so cobble, coal. Oh, it's just the status bar. Oh, or does it hold the temperature? Does it hold the temperature if we... If we put in a full charcoal piece, and before we did anything, we'll just put one up there. Okay, so that's holding the temperature. That's what it does. I was a little confused there. Okay, so that is good. It is a little bit faster, that's for sure. Not a whole lot faster, but it's definitely a little bit faster. Okay, what were we working on? We're working on the wireless stuff, though. Let's put that away. Okay, energy is what we're going to work on first. Nether brick means we need two lava with two redstone. And we've got a barrel right there. Perfect. Redstone, nether rack. Redstone, nether, nether rack. All right, let's go through, we'll throw that up there for the moment. All right, that was the other thing we needed. We needed some uh, iron bars and the comparators. So we're going to need six. Oh, two quartz as well. So quartz, stone, and torch. Comparators. Bricks should be done. Oh, and iron bars. All right. Energy transfer node. Wireless energy transfer node. What we need or what we should do. Oh, we need the GPSs. That's the other thing. So, iron nuggets, blue ink bottles, or just blue ink. We should have plenty of lapis. So, I'm not going to worry about that. Lapis. There we go. There's a fair bit right there. And we need some charcoal, which means we need some wood. All right, I'm going to go chop down a bunch of trees. I'm pretty sure it is charcoal. Carbon paper. Okay, let's go chop up some uh, wood, and then we'll be... Oh, actually, sugar cane. All right, now we can chop up some wood. All right, that's a fair bit of wood. We just need some saplings to drop. We'll go replace those trees. Oh, we should use our fancy little uh, thing down here. So that's going to get us our charcoal. Put that back because I don't need any right at the moment. And then blue dye. We needed six. Six blue dye. We're going to get enough for two. Put that back up there. And then three charcoal. No, it was six charcoal. It was six charcoal. We need the paper though. All right, so paper in the middle. Carbon paper. Is that per one? Oh, we get four out of that. That's not too bad. Now we need some iron nuggets. All right, GPS data cards. So what we should be able to do, I kind of feel like I need a battery. Do we have mineral batteries in here? Ooh, wow. Cyclic battery. I mean, it stores a lot. It absolutely stores a lot. Block of redstone, huh? Trapdoors, clay, I'm not worried about. How much redstone do we have? Just what we got on us. <laughs> okay, so you guys 
You guys are ready for another load, so let's go run you guys through. All right, and then dust up there. So that's going to get us probably maybe about 10 more redstone. Oh, <laughs> that piece got a tree on his head. He's got the whole I Sky Island on there by the looks of it. Look at that. Oh my God, that is amazing. Oh, I, I can't, I'm glad I saw that. I'm glad I saw that. Okay, right, let's go finish this. Actually, let's... Drop you. Oh, wow, you guys are full as well. I've really got to invest in a proper storage system. Right, redstone. Still waiting on that. So I want to put a battery sort of right next to it. And then we can use the, the wireless right off of the battery, I think is probably the best bet. Because how much does this store? This only stores 100,000. This battery stores 6 million. So that's definitely, I think that's definitely a good, good bet. Two more redstone. Anything else I can work on? I guess while we're waiting, we're probably pretty close to doing the item. So item transfer node is two diamonds, two more redstone compare. Oh, wait, redstone again. <laughs> redstone, I've say, say this so many times, redstone is our bane in this pack. Which is why I've really got to get a couple more pulverizers set up so I can automate redstone rather than, there we go, two more. Then, you know, basically be doing it manually here. All right, block of redstone. So battery. Oh, uh, we need the four clay I had in here. And then we need, oh, wow. Uh, I thought I was going to get more out of it than that. Do I have iron in here? I'm still one short on iron. All right, let's go make all of those. Oh, didn't mean to throw you. All right, perfect. And get a little bit of iron. All right, so there's the ones that we needed. Iron trap doors. Okay, battery, battery, battery. 64 million battery. Put it right there. Wow. Storing power east. Why does it seem not correct? Unless it back pulled from all the pipes? I don't know. Maybe it's not as much in there as I thought. 6.4 million FE. Oh, you know what? KFE, 87K, yeah, no, that's right. Million. I don't know, we got a bunch of, we got a bunch of power from it. That's all I know about. So energy transfer node. You, oh, can we really only do one? Or when we put it up, does it give us more slots? I, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Okay, let's test this out. So you, you, I like how it changes color there. Oh boy. Oh, it's all, what's going on here? Ah, oh, the flint got in there. I knew that was going to break. Well, speaking of which, we can put the flint back in there. Okay, so wireless power there. That is expensive for just one of these. I was expecting it to be like the Sky Factory 4 cyclic ones, where you had a whole bunch in there. Wireless transmission of items. I'm sure... Well, I mean, obviously it's pulling power because it's running. Man, they're not as efficient as I thought. This actually really disappoints me because I thought that was going to really clean things up, but kind of feel like it's not, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm I'm kind of at a loss now. I <laughs> I was thinking that was really going to make a difference here, but... All right, well, you know what? Let's go and let's work on setting up a couple more pulverizers. Kind of feel like that's our, our next step here. Oh, I saw it sitting in the distance. Okay, that's the one thing else I want to check. So we looking at the pulverizer, we need copper. We're going to need tin again. What have we got? Okay, there's some tin. There's some copper. Let's 
copper, tin, and we can throw you up there. Let's get rid of you. Can we use a pulverizer induction smelter? Because this grinder is a little annoying. Now, I could go and I can make a smeltery, which is something that I probably should do anyways. Or do I do this? Because in Ocean Block, this was something new that I hadn't really played around with. Okay, what are all these catalysts here? Induction smelter catalyst. Primary auxiliary. 175.25. So Blaze really brings down the energy. Cinnabar bumps up the energy, but you get a three and a three. I think we got a fair bit of Cinnabar. Let's go take a quick peek. 24. Maybe we should just set up a proper smeltery. You know what? It's It's been mentioned. You know, I'm, what is this, episode 10 in a, a Skyblock series? I haven't set up a smeltery yet. Like, it's not difficult to make. I got a bunch of sand here. It's easy to turn into dust. So we can get a bunch of clay and sand. And we've got tons of gravel. It's not like we don't have any gravel anywhere. Let's set up a platform right here. And this is where my smeltery is going to go. Or do I maybe go back here let's go put it back here because then i'm not going around i can come in grab my metals i make actually I can even move the metals down here if i want oh no let uh, i was gonna wrap around we'll build, build it right here this this is where we're gonna build it this this makes the most sense i mean it it doesn't but it does we'll, uh this is where my spell tree is gonna go i have spoken Alright, so here's a nice little platform. We're going to need a bunch of grout. So I've got the sand. I'm going to need the clay and the gravel. And then we could use that force furnace to uh, basically smelt everything up. Let's grab all that charcoal because I'm going to need it for that force furnace. And I'm going to need some more cobble over here. How did I, how did I leave that open like that? Oh, I gotta be careful here. Nope, stone hammer's broken. I should actually make an iron one. All right, now, oh, we gotta do... 10 sand should be enough. All right, perfect. I wanna keep every all my numbers, like, close. All right, where's my bucket? All right, water. Let's put this <laughs> a little bit better. Dust, clay, water, dust, clay, water, dust, clay. All right, we can go and make some grout. Oh, I'm actually gonna need a little bit more. Definitely gonna need a little bit more. And now that I'm thinking about it, I can double this right in our melter, but I'm gonna need all right, so we're going to need a table, which is seven, another five, and some, ooh, seared ink gauge. Doesn't matter. No. Ah, it does. We do need that. Four, so that's going to be 16, another three, 19, and eight, 27. All right, we'll start with, what are you? What, what just happened? I got a fairy. <laughs> what did that do? It made a sound. Did I, is it in my bobble? Stat, statue. I'm confused. It looked like a Legend of Zelda fairy. <laughs> I don't know what that did. Okay, well, uh, what was I coming? No, I was coming down. I was coming down. So we said 27, right? 24, 27. 
And we're going to need a little bit of glass. Cook you in here. Now, is it four glass? Seared. Oh, it's just one glass. Oh, but we're going to need it for five, six. We're going to need six glass. So four, five, six. And while I'm here, actually, no, we can, we can make the tank first and fill it up and then bring that up. All right, seared tank. All right, there's a full seared tank. And then we need a... Oh, am I short? I feel like I'm short one. Pretty sure it was five. That one was five. Five glass. I'm pretty sure they're all the exact same recipe. It's still all five glass. I'm pretty sure. So there. So seared furnace or seared fuel gauge. And then the U makes the melter. A V makes the seared faucet. And then two more seven will make my casting table and i've got sand to make casts oh but i am going to need a brick oh no i could get iron in here all right casting table and while i'm here we'll make a lever because i'm pretty sure it works in this version set up top oh wait i got a hopper down here okay wooden hopper okay, let's start this one right here we're actually gonna we are gonna recess it so i can get at it <sighs> everything's breaking on me. Another reason why I need better tools and need uh, tinker stuff. All right, seared fuel, seared melter. Put that grout out there just so it's going. Uh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I may have messed this up. <sighs> yeah, well, we can deal with this. Ooh, I should have done gold first. How much is in here? One block, two ingots. Yeah, I messed this up. I should have made a gold cast right away. Oh, we're also going to need there. All right, so give me a minute while I fix up my mistake here. All right, you'd think I'd never done tinkers before. It's, like, it's not like it's not the most common <laughs> pack out there. Okay, let's pick this back up. And I'm actually going to make a platform down below here. <laughs> Because I'm a little nervous about this. Actually, what I should do... Do I have one on me? I need a building wand. Okay, perfect. And we might as well get this while we're here so we can pick it up. All right, tank. Table. I oh, think the table stayed up there. And insert faucet. All right, so make ourselves a chest. And you know what? Let's split it into two. We could do a half uh, chest. All right, so let's break you. And probably gonna have to put that there and there. Where's my hopper? Hopper in or into that chest. Guess we don't need that one there. Table, heat source. So heat, table, melter, seared faucet, gold, so gold ingot. Ooh, is this going to get me, it's only going to get me one ingot and three nuggets. You know what, I got a we'll just do all three, we'll do three. I needed eight, not six. I'm rushing a little bit, which is unfortunate. All right, so that's going to melt. We're going to need one ingot to make a cast. And then if we place a block here and a lever, there we go. I think this should automate it now. All right, perfect. So that's automating that. All I need is one more hopper and another chest. Well, I actually already got the chest. I am going to need wood. I am going to need wood. So much for keeping this episode more on track. All right. One tree should be fine. Oh, we got some llamas over there. That llama's got a plunger on his butt. Oh, my goodness. All right. One second here. I keep getting distracted. All right. Snag. 
No, here. Force flask. I'll take two just in case. There's something else there I don't see. Yeah, two llamas. There we go. Llama in the jar. That's awesome. I like that. That is a really, really cool mod. And while we're here, plant you. So that's 12. We're definitely making progress there. All right, so hopper and chest. So we need a chest and then slabs. Do I not have wooden slabs? I probably got a bunch floating around somewhere. So V of slabs and a chest, wooden hopper. Come here, put you there. Oh, I don't like, maybe not. Not this side. Put you there. Chest on top, and then we can throw the grout in, throw that copper, throw that tin. And this should be automated now. So next time we'll hopefully have enough bricks. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to make more bricks. But then we can start building our smeltery proper there. Because there's a couple more things we got to do here. But I think this is probably, this is not a bad place to end it. It's going to be about the right time anyways, so... So yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this video. We managed to get our wireless uh, network set up, and it was a huge disappointment. I was expecting us to be able to run, especially with the power. There should be We should be able to run multiple locations off of the one wireless thing. I, that's what I, I liked about the Sky Factory 4 one. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, we've got to deal with it as it is. This is the learning curve of not knowing what's uh, what's new with the pack. We'll have to figure out some other way of doing it. I mean, pipes are fine. They're just a little bit ugly. I guess what we'll have to do is try to do a price comparison, especially when it comes to the redstone, on whether it's cheaper to do the wireless or if it's cheaper uh, for us to invest in a bunch of pipes. I mean, it, it could literally go either way, uh, depending on how uh, the price of everything is. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I'm having an absolute uh, ton of fun. But if you are enjoying them, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi as well to be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good.